Hi everyone, welcome to JD Gardens. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to plant that subscribe button. And if you're already a viewer, welcome back. So we're in the greenhouse today and we're gonna be installing the heating unit. Now, up till now, we've kept this as a cold frame greenhouse over the winter because most of the plants that we like to grow are pretty cold hardy. Things like garlic and spinach and all different kinds of lettuce and we really didn't find a need to heat it over the winter. And truth, we really didn't want to spend the money heating it. But it is spring now, and we're gonna be growing some of our spring and summer plants, and the nights are still a little too cold uh, for them, especially for things like our cannas. And we certainly don't want anything to happen to them. Now, oddly enough, we're gonna be getting a cold front coming for the next few days, and spring is kind of like that we're gonna be in the 20s. So we're actually kind of in a mad rush to get this heating unit in. So why don't you come along with me and I'll show you how we do it. So the heater that we're gonna be using in here is from Mr. Heater and it's called the Big Max. Now it comes in a bunch of different sizes. Uh, this is actually the smallest one they make. It's about 50,000 BTUs. And let me tell you, it's more than powerful enough to heat the uh, greenhouse of this size. Uh, this greenhouse is about 12 foot wide by 24 feet long and this is plenty. Now you can go with smaller heaters. Um, the reason actually that we use this heater is because it has a proven track record with us. We've actually had this same exact unit in our garage since 2018 and we haven't had one problem. Uh, and they, like I said, they really haven't changed anything in all that time. The, the only difference is, is that now it's gray and ours is beige, uh, which is cool because it kind of looks better in here anyway as, as gray. Now, the unit can run uh, uh, with natural gas. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to use natural gas, which is, uh, uh, which is a shame because uh, our natural gas inlay is literally on the other side of our property and it couldn't go any further away and there's no way to pipe natural gas in here, unfortunately. But they do make it very, very easy to convert this unit from natural gas to liquid propane, uh, which is what we're going to be using in here. Now, uh, I'm not gonna do the video today on, uh, on how to uh, switch it over to liquid propane. We'll do a future video, but I am gonna leave you a link to another YouTuber who did a really great video, extremely comprehensive, on how to switch it over to liquid propane, uh, take you about 10, 15 minutes, and then showing you how to set up the, 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 the pipes and the vents and everything. It's a great video, so keep an eye for that down below. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up all the ladders. I'm going to grab Jackie and we're going to put this sucker up. All right, so when you're going to be setting up your unit, you want to make sure you have your structure uh, set so that it'll hold it, uh, hold it in place. Now we're going to be hanging ours off the ceiling. Uh, so what I did is I put these support packages on either side and then put these extra bars. And uh, let me tell you, it's not going anywhere. This can actually can support my weight and it's going to be fine. This unit only weighs around 80 pounds. And uh, so it's gonna be fine. We've actually tested it already. Uh, so now we're going to actually install it. Now, uh, I'm gonna ask my lovely assistant to come and help me. Now, as I mentioned, we're kind of in a, uh, we're kind of in a hurry to get this up. We're gonna have, we have a cold front coming in and uh, we're flying solo today. So if you're gonna be installing a unit like this up high, then you'll uh, probably wanna have some more uh, people helping you because uh, this can be a little dangerous, but uh, yeah, as you know, on this channel, we're all about DIY, so uh, and we got to get this done. So, you ready to go? Let's go. All right, so, uh, so I'm going to hold it in place. Uh, once I get underneath it, it's actually not too bad. Uh, you got it. You have to push it this way. More. Okay, there's the next one. 
You got it? Okay. <sighs> All right. Got it? Yeah. Which way do you gotta go? Okay, babe, that's the deal. Did you get that one? I got one ready to carry off. Okay. I ran over to the other side. Yeah. Hurry up. Yeah. <coughs> Let's do this one and a hold. Watch this off. <coughs> you okay? I'll do this one? Yep. Do this one. Okay. All right. Once we have the three up, then I can release most of the way. It's actually being held up by there. She's so gonna do the last one here. This is actually our third time doing this. <laughs> we had to test it out to make sure we got the uh, the pipes for the venting. You got the washer right. I got a washer right there and a screw. Right here on the, right there, right here. I need the screw. And a washer. I got the washer. Okay. There you go, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Obviously it'd be a lot easier if there was uh, some other people, but we got it up and it's not going anywhere. So now I'm gonna level this off and then uh, I'll show you how we start setting up the pipes and the gas lines and the vent pipes. All right, so we have everything hooked up now. I'm gonna walk you through what we did. Now, right here, the, he got the unit and the unit actually comes with a half inch uh, gas line. And what we did is we added a shut off here for safety. So in case you ever need to maintenance anything, the access panels here, you would release these screws, open up and maintenance anything. You can shut off the gas line or turn it on. So it's just a safety precaution. From there, we have the half inch pipe leading all the way outside to the propane tank, which we'll show you in a minute. But a uh, good rule of thumb, uh, add a, a union and a union is what it uh what it sounds like it connects these two pipes together so instead of having one long pipe that leads to the outside if i ever needed to take this down or uh disconnect it outside i can just unscrew this and it separates the two pipes and it's so much easier to work with now for the exhaust you see right here it's a four inch exhaust and what i recommend doing is using a uh, double wall insulated pipe and what that is, is what it sounds like. <laughs> it's uh, two walls of metal. So when this exhaust leaves the, uh, the unit, it's very, very hot. If you had a single wall, it would be like extremely hot. You'd burn yourself in a second. Now it's still hot with the double wall, but it's a lot less. So when it leaves the building through the shield right here, it's not gonna burn anything around it. But like I said, it still would be hot to the touch, uh, but uh, won't scorch you. So uh, then over here, you see I hooked up the thermostat, which I'll show you in a minute, but why don't I show you right now how this exits the greenhouse and how we connect it outside. Okay, we're here on the back end of the greenhouse and as you can see, this is where everything comes out. We have our two exhaust fans here. When they're on, they'll exhaust the air. And then uh, we have our gas line that comes, comes out and it leads down to our 110 gallon tank here for uh, of propane which is 
to our, uh, to our regular, which comes to a 110 gallon tank. And then if you see, let me get up here to show you. Ah. Now this is the, uh, the vent pipe. What it does, it'll leave the unit and we have this slope right here. So any rainwater will come down and uh, won't sit there. Comes to a, uh, to a T. And the reason we do a T is so that we can use a clean out just in case anything gets in there, easy to access, just have a cap. And I'm still securing some of this, but there we go. And then what it does is, so it keeps it away from the greenhouse. So not that much heat will be near the greenhouse. We don't want to melt any of the plastic. And then what it does is goes up and to a vent cap up there and that stops any uh, uh, birds or critters from uh, making their nest in there and protects it all. So let me come down here. So I think what we're gonna do is uh, it's all set up. I'm gonna turn on the propane tank and then we'll, we'll test it out inside and see how it goes. All right, all systems are go. So I'm gonna turn off the Turn on the switch, rather. Let the uh, turn on the lever. Let the uh, propane fill the, the machine, the heater. Now I'm still kind of setting everything up, but like I said, we're in a rush, so I got the thermostat set up. So right now I'm gonna just kick it up full, just to make sure everything goes well. Give it a second. Oh well, that's good. The power's on, so I hear the uh, <laughs> I hear the fan starting to go. We'll give it a second. And I can hear the blowers starting to go, so the, the igniter is gone. Let's give it a second. Okay, you hear the igniter starting to go? Hear the flames are on? All right, we just heard the blower kick on. And I'm starting to feel some air coming out. It's starting to get warm. Now, one thing the manufacturer said when you uh, start this unit up for the first time for a while, you're going to start uh, that smell that's burning off any uh, excess oil or anything that, because uh, uh, it's, it's brand new, kind of like uh, any heater that you would get. Uh, here it comes, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's feeling nice. Very nice. All right. Now, with this unit, let me show you. You can adjust these vents any way you want. Wow, it's getting hot. <laughs> so you can adjust these vents any way you want. I'm gonna not point it right down at the garlic. I don't wanna dry them out. I'm gonna try to go straight so it blows across the greenhouse. Oh, very nice. It's actually not too bad in here right now. I think, what did the temperature say? It's about uh, 54 degrees, not bad. And uh, I turned this up to 75, so <laughs> it's gonna be going for a little bit, but not too bad. So I think what we'll do, we're gonna let this run for a while, try to get the smell out. We'll leave the doors open, vent everything out. And um, what we'll do is we'll come back later on tonight, cause it's gonna be in the 20s. Uh, we'll come back later on, to, we'll see what the temperature is, we'll turn it on, and we'll see how quick it takes to, to heat this place up. So, until then. Alright everyone, it's a little later on at night, and it's uh, getting pretty cold out here. I'm looking at the thermostat, it's reading a little over 30 degrees, and it's going to be dropping into the 20s. So, let's uh, check out the greenhouse and see how the heater's working. We actually added some uh, work lights in there so we can come here at night work at any time come on in and wow it is really warm in here it is uh either that or it's just it was so cold outside uh let me see it's reading 60 degrees which is awesome uh we actually have the thermostat set to uh 50 degrees because we don't want to keep it too warm in here and right now the heater let me just double check yep the heater is actually cooling down now the way this heater works is once it heats its right temperature, once it gets to the right temperature, it actually starts cooling itself down before it shuts off. And uh, so the air, so it's uh, air circulating pretty well in here, uh, being at 60 degrees. And um, I think this temperature is kind of perfect uh, for all the uh, summer plants that we're going to be growing, especially our cannas, because you know cannas are uh, tropical 
plant and uh, you leave them on the cold, it could uh, really kill them, especially early on when they're growing. But uh, I think this temperature is going to be perfect for them. And uh, I know we have our heat cable inside the, um, uh, inside the, uh, the beds right now. I think we can shut it off if we leave it at this temperature. We could probably even drop it down a little bit. Um, and like I said, the reason we keep it lower is because we don't want to waste through too much fuel. We just want to keep it comfortable in here for the plants and nothing freezes. Uh, in the morning when it's around 20 degrees, it's gonna, there's going to be some frost on the cars, but this uh, should be uh, really nice in here. So I think, uh, I think we'd hit a home run with this. So if, you're, uh, if, you're, if you have a greenhouse or you're thinking of getting a greenhouse and you're thinking about uh, what kind of heating system, you might want to take a look at the... Uh, uh, Mr. Heater at Big Max. It's a really, uh, really efficient heater, and it's uh, and not too bad at price. Uh, of, um, and it'll heat a greenhouse like this size, and no problem. So, if you have any questions uh, about uh, greenhouses or heaters, uh, please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And be sure to hit like and subscribe and ring that bell. So, until next time, remember, yes, we can. Uh,